I'm Esther and I'm here to tell you what happened on last night's episode of Candidly Nicole on VH1. Nicole is cleaning up a bunch of trash and runs into one of my friends actually, a possum. Woo! Rodents are our friends, okay? Unless they're like eating my donuts, we're cool. So Nicole decides to attend a neighborhood watch meeting and reveals to the group that she was attacked by a rodent. Earlier this week, I was attacked. Attacked? By a possum. Why was their neighborhood watch meeting like a scene from Gossip Girl? So Nicole pitches the idea of composting because it's like the circle of life or like Lion King or whatever. I think she's Nala and I'm Simba, what? I don't know. The compost bins have lids, it gets rid of trash, and then we won't have critters. So Nicole meets one of her neighbors who is not down with her plan. Why don't we just like put out prepared meals for all of the animals? He wants to put a ban on homesteading because he says it's just hipsters pretending to be farmers, which I totally agree with, okay? It's the compost piles. It's the chicken coops. It's the turtle barns. Now, maybe if we put a ban on all the homesteading, maybe we wouldn't be inviting all of the woodland creatures to trash our backyards. I'd get a chicken if they made nuggets. So he suggests putting up security cameras, and then Nicole says something racist. We didn't move to the hills to feel like we're in North Korea. I've never met a gay guy that doesn't want to be my friend. Nicole name drops Andy Cohen to try and impress Alec, but it doesn't really work. My gay friend, Andy Cohen. Your gay friend. He yeah. really taught me the importance of supporting your community. Mm. Nicole, that would only impress my mom. Yeah. I've got to take this call. Oh, but your, your phone's not ringing. It's ringing in a really silent way. So Nicole is having lunch with her two gay friends. Photograph me, I'm like, no, no one cares. <laughs> Thank God there was no Instagram when I, yeah. I was 20. I'm telling you what we should do. Tell us. We should turn the entire neighborhood gay. I have no idea what that means, but I guess it means like rainbows, happiness, musical theater. Sounds pretty good. The first time I heard the word gay was in Shirley Temple's The Little Princess. And so that's what my understanding of gay is. Bright, full of joy, light as a feather. And Nicole decides to build the gang. Get it? G-A-Y-N-G. Yeah, I can spell. <laughs> Nicole wants to turn a neighborhood in Los Angeles gay. It's a little redundant. The gangbangers visit the neighborhood, delivering fresh milk, eggs, flowers. I mean, if those are what gangbangers are like in LA, Chicago really needs to step up their game. Bring out the bins! Bring out the bins! Bring out the bins! This is going to change our neighborhood. Now join me and let's make this whole neighborhood gay! So they walk up to Alex's house like a scene from West Side Story. Everybody off! They're not playing! I'm telling my friend Andy Cohen! Guys, I've been there. I've been hosed down plenty of times. Then Nicole thinks that Alec is sabotaging her by knocking over the compost pile. Jensen shows up and is like, mm, I don't know, are you sure? What? <laughs> this is crazy. Looks like an animal. This is not an animal. This is my gay neighbor trying to sabotage me. Okay, it doesn't seem important to say he's gay. So they're back at the neighborhood watch meeting getting ready to take a vote between compost or security cameras. And Nicole accuses Alec of breaking into her backyard, which is truly insane. This man climbed my fence, knocked over my compost bins. This is a very serious allegation. I would never break into your backyard. And you can prove this whole accusation very simply with a security cam. And of course, everyone votes for security cameras. How many people are voting for security cameras because of what Alec has been doing to my yard? Well, does your husband know you're not gay? You know you're crazy, right? 
So those are just a few of the highlights from last night's episode of Candidly to Cole. Make sure to watch new episodes Wednesdays on VH1. I'm Esther Pavitsky. Mean comments go below. And make sure you subscribe to WOW Presents.